Let's now shortly discuss MongoDB replica sets. In this course, we have used standalone MongoDB installation on the local computer. And of course, such kind of setup isn't suitable for production needs. If you want to use MongoDB in production, you must set up MongoDB replica set. Replica set consists of several MongoDB servers, and I have never seen production database that consists just of one server. In each replica set, there is always only one primary server, and all others are secondary. And you can make changes only on the primary server. And if you, for example, update one of the documents, then this update is automatically propagated to all secondary servers. Or in other words, it is replicated from primary to secondary. That is the process in the replica set. If primary server fails, then secondary servers will elect new primary server. And one of the secondary servers will become primary. If you want to perform right operation, you must do it on the primary server. But if you want to read data from the database, perform, for example, aggregation request or simple find query, then you can read from any of the servers, either from primary or from secondary. Remember that at the beginning of the course, I have shown you example of the MongoDB Atlas setup. Let's get back to it. Here it is. Here is my cluster. And cluster consists of three servers. And you see here tags, secondary, primary and secondary. It means that I have in the cluster three servers combined in the replica set. And one of the servers, this one is primary. If this server will fail, then one of those two secondary servers will become automatically primary. Now, if I perform any read operations, I can read from any of those servers. But if I want to change data, then I will do that only on the primary server. And this information will be automatically replicated to all secondary servers. That is the process in the MongoDB replica set. Ok, let's move on and in the next lecture let's talk about MongoDB drivers. See you there. Bye-bye.